there, and welcome to Speak English with Christina, where you'll have fun becoming fluent in American English. When you're in the U.S., there are a few interactions that you'll have all the time, like at the cash register of a store, and those cashiers talk fast. These conversations at the cash register are full of little. Formulas, regular questions and answers that the cashier expects to hear. This conversation, it's like bam, 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 bam. No hesitations, and that's what you'll learn today. Let's go. The inspiration for this lesson comes from the blog Belle Aventure USA. By Catherine, a Belgian woman who lives in Tennessee, her article "La Couille de Noël: Délices linguistiques de saison" includes a practical guide for surviving the cash register discussion in American stores, and she was so kind to let me adapt this article into、um, a video lesson, and I thought it would be perfect for y'all. All right. Let's play a game. You're at the cash register at Walmart. It's a big supermarket in the USA. I'm the cashier, the person working at the cash register. You're the customer, and I'm going to ask you some typical questions that you'll hear at the cash register. You'll hear each question twice at regular speaking speed, like Americans really speak when they speak to other Americans. See if you can understand what I ask you. Good luck. Cash credit. Cash credit. The question was cash or credit. Cash credit. Do you want to pay with cash or use your credit card? The cashier might also ask cash, credit, or debit. Cash credit or debit. Cash credit or debit. The answer, fortunately, is simple. Cash, please. Or credit, please. Or Debit, please. Cash credit. Do you want any cash back? Do you want any cash back? The question was, do you want any cash back? You want any cash back? In many American stores, if you pay by card, you can also get cash at the cash register. This will just be added to your total. For example, if your total purchase is thirty dollars, you can ask to have twenty dollars in cash. For example, the cashier will charge your card for fifty dollars total, thirty dollars to pay for the purchase. And twenty dollars in cash, so that you can have some cash on you. And this is why the cashier will ask you, "Do you want any cash back? You want any cash back?" You have any coupons? You have any coupons? The question was, "Do you have any coupons? Do you have any coupons?"、Uh, your answer is either, "Oh no," or, "Yeah, here you go." As you give the cashier your coupons, coupons are reductions that you can find on the internet, maybe in the local newspaper, etc. And you'll need to. Give your coupons to the cashier if you hear. Do you have any coupons? You want your receipt with you or in the bag? You want your receipt with you or in the bag? 
The question was, do you want your receipt with you or in the bag? You want your receipt with you or in the bag? Do you want to take the receipt with you or do you want the cashier to just put it in the bag? The answer to the question is either, I'll take it please, I'll take it please, or you can just put it in the bag. You can just put it in the bag. May I see your ID please? May I see your ID please? The question was, may I see your ID please? May I see your ID please? In the United States, you have to be at least 21 years old to buy alcohol. So if you look younger than say 65, the cashier will ask to see your ID a form of identity. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm 35 and they still ask me to see ID when I buy a beer at the supermarket. So your answer is just, sure, here you go. Sure, here you go. As you give the cashier your driver's license, your identity card, or your passport. You want me to take care of that? You want me to take care of that? The question was, do you want me to take care of that? You want me to take care of that? You know, in the US, we're all about customer service. So, some stores will have a person who will offer to push your buggy, your shopping cart, to, from the cash register to your car for you. It's free and they generally can not accept tips. So don't worry, it's not a scam. They're not going to ask you for money afterwards. It's, it's their job. Your response, if you accept the offer is, yes, thanks, that's nice of you. Yes, thanks, that's nice of you. Or, if you feel like you can push the buggy yourself, uh, no thanks, I'll take care of it. No thanks, I'll take care of it. And now, you are ready to master the fine art of going through the cash register at an American supermarket. Now, what about you? Have you ever gone to a supermarket in the USA? Did you hear any of these expressions when you went to the cash register? Did you know what to say? Tell us your stories in the comments below. Don't forget to join my Speak English Ambassadors email list at ChristinaRibafay.com so you can get a new English lesson every Tuesday. Just go to ChristinaRobofay.com and subscribe. And thanks so much for being a part of the Speak English community. I'm Christina, and I'll see you next week.